What's up? We are back with episode six, and load us right into it. We gotta go flying fast. Over here. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Daytime. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Master, hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-de-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holiday. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, stay up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now! <laughs> Thank you. The oh, fuck? over so there's a leg on each side none of that side saddle nonsense a gust of wind will throw you right off and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight ground yourself at once God. good now for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take some getting care. used to. The brooms are school but property. <sighs> I want them I returned in one piece. Really? I have to invert it though. I have to fuck it. Well I'm done. Gonna... Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? You're waiting to invert it. I hate this the way I have to go set of up. Rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> oh. Hello! Nice day for a fly! Ha! Good. I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. This is actually nice. We put the star music. I mean, like far more common. resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oh. This is this is this is fun. I enjoy it. A lot faster than walking. Well 
That was nice. That was nice. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? Sure. I can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? That's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture. Oh, never mind. Flying yeah. tips and the jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite cool. a tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. That was nice. Enjoyed that. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of Damn. you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Damn. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Thanks. Flying, the flying is in this game is really nice. Sorry about that business Wish with I Kagawa. I hope I can have to admit, convert it. Those I hate worth it. that going up goes up. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Let's go buy a broom now. I don't know. 
that I understand your plight. The expert, enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me he found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. My friend Elza Fig is worried that I've been sending for a few family for a, for a family heirloom for some years now. The last to no avail, he suggests that you might be just want to find it. Please stop by the shop at your earliest convenience. I would be in your debt. I should you choose to assist Ollivander for family in this matter. Kind of scars, Ollivander. Cool. I don't know if I have to wait, but getting a room would be nice. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Wonderful. Oh, I guess Hello. this is the shop I was. Mr. Weeks, is it? And, uh, I'll be Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spinwitches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got yes, a few rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows. Winwith, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Winwith, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with a U Wand's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds like right. the array of brooms. What does he got? I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Nice. What I need is someone to nice, conduct nice, a nice. broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. 
If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? We're good. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the Question moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers maneuver the way they do, oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumored talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's time, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it's fitting I run spin witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me united. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I'm maybe too young to run this shop. I mean, he's a little bit of stubble, so... I can continue proving myself the most that young. knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Oof. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Oh. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Oh. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Better keep an eye on Hydra. Is gobstones. I'm going to have four, right? Here I'll have This is a 
blues and white pages. Uh, oh, accurate. And this has Bionic, Indio, and Indio. Cool. Cool. I mean, that's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Oh wait, that's not where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to do my cool. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulp stones. I work on the main quest. Over here. All right, Sebastian. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. Something is missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Hello? How did you find this place? My friend, Ollie right Scorbs. He named it the Undercroft. We used to oh, this is the room of fireman? Rebellion. My sister. Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would play to her. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. He's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Mm. Always says the wand chooses okay. the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. Oh. The four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them. As he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise <sighs> hidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. 
A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Oh shit. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Confringo. Very well. Getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. Best to keep the undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that it can bring up. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think well I got it. Done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. To this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Hmm. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Oh. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? Uh, I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What I never thought I'd be friends with Slytherin. Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old right, magic dude. that hardly cool. anyone else can. Pretty Sig cool. and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Incendio! Ah, Incendio! Expelliarmus! Confringo! Let me also. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. Oh, I don't like this dude. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Ooh. Hmm. 
Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That's right. You breathe a oh. word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My okay, father cool. is it. friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. Wait, no. Did clear. Sebastian tell me I not to say? Oh, He's fuck. a good friend. Okay. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you I very that up. much. Ominous. I just my bad. Know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian, Good bring me here. Cool, fuck that dude. A shovel. And then the werewolves join the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752? Okay, the Minister for Magic uh, is Albert Booth. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boys. Says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, please. It was Albert Booth. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a so flat? That has to be two. Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. Ooh. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was her This is weird. It wasn't boot, and it wasn't She's flat. Running, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> I don't know. So is that four for a unicorn of four? So this is definitely a question mark to me. Uh, what? what? These don't make any sense. Weird. I'm good at math, but I don't know what the out didn't even look like it was math. That was fucking weird. It looked like it was fucking Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Oh no, here's the room requirement. I don't know what the other room is. Here's the room requirement. Forgive me, the headmaster stops behind that. Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Okay. What is this place? This 
is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. Revelio. I only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. Evanesco. You can cast Evanesco to banish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Cool. work. You'll oh. note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that hey, I waited here for goodness. you for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more issues in the park. I mean, I no, if you want to time to me again, sincerely. Can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate the Rebellion. Yes, Professor. <laughs> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to This isn't as precarious as it looks. Rebellion. An intruder! Stop them! Thou not us! That's not helpful, you worthless pile of sin! Oh. Rebellion. Bit of into the room, thought I needed a bath. Jeez. <laughs> Oh no, never mind. That's not the thing. The thing I was guiding him was for Nikeo. Never mind. Oh, that's cool. Rebellion. Ooh. Okay. That was pretty good. I have to jump here. I can't. Okay. I'll worry about that later.
my next one. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> That laugh was a little weird. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Professor Weasley, Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke. Would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your And he's on bitches. <laughs> imagine the room precisely as you need. The room will do the rest. What the fuck? Given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Oh, I look forward to seeing what you Rebellion. do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent, it can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects oh. of anything in which one is clothed. Use a reveal of my. Will be more useful when I You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. 
I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Cool. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Oh. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Oh. Hello. This one. Oh, I don't want it right there, though. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Oh. Deke will be here to answer uh, any questions you may have. Do not Halloween. his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know its every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. Oh. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. 
Thank you, Professor. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much do I need? Okay, are you having enough? I have here? the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Cool. Mirror. I don't, have to I don't have to worry about the flare. I don't want it there. Holding Cool. Shall we move on? Oh, I need that. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your cool. taste. That's what I was wanting to do. Started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Wow. Cool. I've learned four spells. Just yeah, so I can wand at any conjured video. item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Cool. Just a side. Oh. 
What? Who the fuck is gonna sit in this chair? I can't even jump onto the chair. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your safe might benefit from a bit of ominous. Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Ooh. Deke thinks you Oh, I have to do for all the walls. Uh, come and talk to Deke. Oh, Deke. Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Room ambient. Sounds even more natural and earthy. Best room is dark and mysterious. I'd like the room to feel mysterious, eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm. Sounds perfect. Ooh, this looks nice. Wait, no, that's what it was. Okay. That is bad. Mm, quite the difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spellcrafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i should Ooh. keep an eye out <sighs> good i'll lead you to it this is your space now use it wisely most excellent Let's go to the Shami Tower. That's nice. That was more nice. It goes by way.
Nice to see you, my young friend. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff scheme. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Cool. I join that right now, though. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes. Which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Cool. Map is right there. Can I move? The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. To think it was beneath us all this time.
has made. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. to see this. Cool. We will start this in the next episode. Peace.